Hey, YouTube world. I am back with another video. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I know this launch has been so anticipated, and yet I have so many things to say, and they are not nice things. So get ready. This is going to be a fun video. I have so many thoughts <laughs> that is jumping through my head as I'm scrolling through um, all of the different products and launch items that she has released. <sighs> What a disappointment. Let's kind of just get right into it. Um, let's start off with the bags. Obviously, you know I love bags, so I'm going to be starting. And this was in the mist. So I actually went to the Hermes Chicago store uh, this morning when I got the notification because I forgot all about it. And I started scrolling through as I was kind of waiting in line just to see what items are available. And of course, it was an overload. Everybody was trying to access it. And I was able to pull up the bags. I was taking a look at it. I was like, this is underwhelming, right? I was just looking at these totes and uh, I'm just pulling it up on my phone right now. These are gigantic ass totes, XL Cabas. Okay, yeah, for real. They are just, they're like grocery bags. And for how much? $8,500? I don't care how luxurious they may look, but they look kind of like the Celine Cabas that she came up with years ago when she was still there as the creative director. And for $8,200, I mean, that's just insane. And I was looking at the construction of it and it just looks pretty, pretty slouchy, pretty normal. And then of course, if you scroll on over to the gig bag, I don't even know what that means. You can see how it's like, three different layers to it, right? It kind of looks like the Celine Trio, except it doesn't have a zipper and it's got these two little tassels that are just hanging off of it. <sighs> the interior looks like it's suede, which is, you know, whatever, it's fine. And it comes in different colors. So you, well, it comes in two different colors. So it's just a white and a brown or ox blood. So I guess maybe a more dark maroonish brown. And then it also comes in two different, nope, just kidding. It only comes in one size. So I don't know why it, it well, I guess you could pick the different colors, but then it only comes in one size. So that was the, the gig bag. Then you've got the small kit cabas. Again, it's just, it looks the exact same as like a cabas tote that she released back in her Celine days with a little bit of gold hardware on there. <clears throat> and it's just one piece, right? Looking at this particular photo, that little hardware right there is just to hook on so that it closes the bag. It doesn't even have a zipper. It doesn't have anything bells and whistles. Just very simple, very straightforward. Again, there's nothing wrong with simple and straightforward, but this is just overly simplistic for how much you are charging. It's just an obscene amount of money. So I think that's pretty much all of the bags. There's three different styles and then come in, comes in uh, various variations of colors and suede or smooth calf, calf leather or, you know, I think it's calf leather. So that was very underwhelming. Let's move on to the coats and the jackets. So here I've got the structured shoulder tailor jacket. It looks fine. Nothing crazy, right? <clears throat> I like the color. I think that's pretty unique, but it looks like it is... Someone ironed it very hardcore, and that's how the sleeves should look. But then on the back, it like doesn't look like it fits. It doesn't look like it fit even the model itself. So imagine like normal consumers like you and me. It probably does it fits even worse. <laughs> and then you look at the back. The back looks really weird. I mean, right? I will show you. I'll obviously put screenshots. But if you look at this, the back looks like <sighs> like you're a triangle shape. Like you're a swimmer, right? You don't even swim and you have that triangle body without even trying just by putting this blazer on. The coats are fine. The coats are fine. Like the, the trench coats, yada, yada. Oh my God. When, <laughs> when it comes to the hand combed embroidered, embroidered coats, what in the name what in, in god's green earth is that the first thing i saw the first thing i thought when i saw this is that it looks like shaved ice 
But then my friend and I were talking about how underwhelmed we are with this collection. She's like, it looks like Big Bird. Do you want to be Big Bird except in the white version? And there's no there's no pricing on this. How, how much can this possibly be? Judging from other pieces that I was looking at, it was like 19000 8500 This, if you have to ask for the cost of it, it's probably like, I don't know, 30 grand, something something insane. And it's viscrose. From what I understand, viscrose is, isn't that plastic? Cloth plastic? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, what? Why? Why? Do you want to look like Big Bird? And I'm just looking at the rest of it. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's nice. I understand the colors aren't very vibrant because that's just their style. And of course, we are in the winter season. But, you know, it's just, okay, cool, whatever. If you want to spend 5500 or 5200 in a pea coat, go for it, right? Then we, <laughs> we get to the tasseled bomber. What is that? Holy <laughs> That looks like a bunch of duct tape sewn onto a jacket. And is this leather? Yeah, it's leather. So at least you've got leather, but it's just like, hey, I got a random punch bunch of pieces of leather that I'm just going to sew together um, and call it 12000 This is like comical by now. It's $12,000 for duct tape, basically duct tape leather jacket. Is this a, like, is this like a joke for Halloween or something? I don't even know. All right, let's move on to trousers or pants. So this first zipped trousers and khakis. Yeah, that's cool. Whatever. Nothing, nothing or shattering. Then you keep scrolling. Guess what? With the crazy hand combed embroidered coat. Guess what? You get to buy, you get, you get to buy the pants to go along with it as well. The first thing that came to my mind was a minotaur. Minotaur? Minotaur. You know, those mystical char characters that, <laughs> that just have like a crazy muscular body at the top. And then you've got fuzzy little legs. Well, not little, but f fuzzy legs with hooves at the bottom. That's the first thing I thought of. And then my friend also mentioned, Mandy, my friend, <laughs> we're like, oh, she, she mentioned that it looks like Mr. Tumnums, Tumnums from Chronicles of Narnia. Do you not see that? I mean, I was also thinking of that, but I had no idea what his name is, even though I've watched and read the books from back in the day. But that's exactly what that is. So if you wear the full bodysuit, you become Mr. You know, Big Bird from Sesame Street. If you chose choose to only wear the pants, well, guess what? You are now Mr. Mr. Tumnus. <laughs> oh, what is she thinking? Oh, guess what? It comes in black, so you you can be various versions of Mr. Tumnus. I'm going through the tops. The tops are, yeah, you know, whatever, no big deal. And if you look over the sweaters, I think the only pretty cool looking sweater is the crew neck jumper. Um, it, but I don't, I don't. Does that come with you know the collar? I'm like lost for words. Sorry, <laughs> but the collar itself could go either way. It looks like Michelin. Like you want to be a Michelin tire? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it, it looks pretty good if you put it together, but for $2,400, ah, uh, oh no, absolutely not. And I'm just looking at the materials. It's a cashmere. So, okay, fine. I mean, at least that's a little bit more justifiable. 100% cashmere. And I know cashmere can get pretty expensive, right? So that's probably something I, yeah, you know, I would never spend my money on that. But at least out of the entire collection so far that we've talked about is okay. All right, moving on to the shoes. What? Why? 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 This sh These shoes, they look like the Bottega ones, like from three, four years ago when they were popular, like Instagram popular. I don't think I've ever seen anybody wear the Bottega ones, but they look very similar to the Bottega ones. And you want $1,300 for these? People like over the past, like, I think two, two, maybe a year, two years, that, that trend lasted for like, what, maybe a year or two, then realize, and, and then everybody realized how ugly they were. And now she's bringing it back for $1,300. Bottega was trying to sell them for like a uh, hundred, two hundred dollars each. They couldn't get rid of them. And now she's coming out with the same style. That doesn't make any sense to me. And this job per boot, if I'm saying that correctly, 
that just looks like pain. <laughs> it looks like pure pain. And what is up with the two straps in the front and the back? Do I need that much strength to pull on, pull on these shoes? And I just see that to be in the way all the time. And if you're wearing lighter pants, you would probably get color transfer. Or if you wanna just wear black leggings, you have to wear leggings with it, right? Or else if you wear like a little bit more of a loose trouser, those two little tabs are just going to be sticking out and looks like you have a tumor in the front, tumor in the back coming out from your trousers and just, just looks really weird. So I don't understand that at all. The only thing I think is decent looking is the club loafer. But then again, like if you look at, at the spectrum of shoes in high fashion that's out there, it's, it's not even like, no, it's not uh, it's not something I would spend my money on. It's already sold out. So I don't know if they only produce like, what, six pairs and it's sold out or maybe they produce 100 pairs and it's sold out. But I would never spend my money on that. You crazy? All right, let's, last category. So these Bombay, Bombay, Bombay oversized frame sunglasses, what am I going, am I going to be an astronaut or am I going to be, you know, am I biking? I'm on a bike and I'm wearing those goggles to protect my eyes as I'm going, you know, 60 miles, 70 miles an hour on my my cafe racer. But it's just like, I don't understand that. It's, it's, it's kind of ugly. For $750? No, thank you. Then we move on to the jewelry. The, the rings are fine. It looks very, you know, whatever. Then you get on over to the mom necklace, right? I really appreciate that she's been a mom. She loves, probably loves being a mom. And she's paying tribute to all of the moms out there, which is great, right? But the price of it, I think, what is it? Like $5,000? Actually, I was looking at it earlier, and I think they were so available stock. The annoying thing is that you look at the website, once it's sold out, you can't see the price. So from memory, correct me if I'm wrong, the necklace was $5,000, which is an obscene amount of money when it's not even pure gold. It is 23 karat gold plated silver. So basically, it's a coating of gold over silver, which like was that much money, $5,000, I would go to Cartier and buy an actual gold band, right? Not just some plated, gold plated. I don't know my jewelry very well, but is 23 karat gold a thing? Because I thought it would be too soft. So I don't know. They have to have it in certain silver to make it harder, right? Most of the time I see 18 karat gold, right? Like the Chanel... Um, hardware from back in the day. Educate me a little bit, if you will. Comment down in this comment section for me and let me know. But again, it's still gold plated for $5,000. Phoebe, you crazy. And then I also saw this necklace with the trio pendant. What is that? I mean, it looks fine, but then you can twist it and it comes out with this sharp object. Am I trying to stab someone and protect myself with this? Or, or what if you like get it rolled on something and then it shoots out and you stab your own chest like what what makes you think this is a good idea oh vintage inspired toothpick charms how much was that hold on let me look at this eighteen hundred dollars there's a scarf there's some gloves and then there is a brooch for eleven hundred dollars was it leftover material from the embroidered uh, big bird outfit <laughs> Oh my god, I am I don't I am lost for words. I don't I don't even know what to say. I was so excited for this and now I'm so disappointed. Let me know what you guys think. Tell me if I'm being crazy or I'm just being just a bitch about this and saying uh your collection is trash. I'm sorry, but <laughs> save your money, guys. Please don't spend money on this. I don't know who spent the money on Phoebe Philo's new collection, but I would not spend a dime on it. If she sees this video and she's like, wow, this girl is like, she doesn't know art. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. But I'm a consumer. And as a consumer that is not just rolling in money, I would not spend money on this. Like you couldn't actually really pay me to wear any of the items that I just talked about. So let me know in the comments section. I'm kind of glad I don't like anything because now I have, I am able to save my money. Come on, Phoebe, do better, do better. I hope you enjoy my commentary. Obviously, I hope you're not offended. If you like these pieces, go for it. It's your money. But this, these are just my opinions. 
So hopefully you will come back and check out some of my other videos. And if you haven't checked out my anticipation video of Phoebe Philo, I was so excited. I was talking about Celine and just like putting it on a pedestal, which it deserved to be back when she was at Celine. But go check out that video if you haven't done so already. Life is hard. I want to help you save time and money so that you can somehow adult easier and hopefully less than retail. I'll see you all next time.